also a few months ago one of our kind and generous patrons sent us this greenhouse kit and it's just been way too hot to consider putting it up but as the temperatures are really dropping now we're barely going above 30. I figured it's the perfect day to finally get it up and I'm so excited. It's so big compared to what we've had uh, previously and yeah I've got a cover for it but I'm not going to put that on yet. I want to put some cardboard down on the floor and wait till it cools down a little bit more before putting the cover on but I've got loads of seedlings now on the go so I'm excited to get them up in the structure so yeah super chuffed and thank you I think our patron wants to be anonymous but you know who you are thank you so much this is amazing and yeah I can't wait for the next growing seasons now and neither can I'll be Bon dia, everyone. <laughs> Crazy dogs. How's it going? Hope you're all well. Check it out, it's cloudy and not sunny. It might actually rain today. It'll be the first rain we've had since June the 15th, I think it was. We're not counting. Temperatures dropped so much as well. And I think two weeks ago it was 38 degrees and today it's like 18. Actually in jeans. First time wearing jeans in months. <laughs> so yeah, gonna start doing some work again, because we can. So I'm gonna start hitting the driveway, because the driveway's been annoying. There's a load of mess behind here, so I'm gonna clean all this up, because we're gonna need to do some sort of retaining wall to finish, well, basically, on the stone that I'm sat on. I don't think I can quite get the steepness in there, but it's a bit too steep. But we widened it up earlier in the year with Nick, which is the fresh wall you can see there. This area here needs to be raised up probably by at least 50 centimetres. Hello, hello. Thought I'd give you a wine update. So we are on day six. Today's Tuesday. We picked on Wednesday. So yeah, day six. Tomorrow I will press it in to the wine tank. So yeah, the final couple of punch downs. So I thought I'd show you how it's all going. It's been super like lively and bubbly. If 
you can hear any of that bubbling. Frankie snoring under my chair so sorry if you can hear her snoring um, I just really quickly would love to share with you today's sponsor which is Skillshare if you have not heard of them before then Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills so recently I have found it quite difficult balancing all the different creative projects we have going on here that I've not actually been dedicating any time to drawing which is a really important skill to maintain when you're an illustrator but I also just think spending time working on something creative is just really good for your well-being and brings me a lot of joy. So one of the classes I've really enjoyed working through this month is called Make Your Art Time Management for Creatives by Liz Brindley. This is what I love about Skillshare is there's so much diversity in the types of classes that they provide. This class is really great because it gives you practical steps for time management which is of course super helpful but what I loved most about this class is that she's added in a lot more depth to really make you think about your creative goals this gives you a lot more motivation which is a key part of actually achieving your goals. The class inspired me to make a schedule so that I can dedicate an hour a day to drawing which I have actually managed to do almost every day and the other great thing is that if I'm feeling creatively uninspired then I can just search Skillshare for drawing and painting classes of which there are many. <laughs> if this class intrigues you or any others that you see on Skillshare then you are in luck because the first 1,000 people to use the link in our description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and now I'm going to Get on with some drawing in my sketchbooks. just come to sit on top of the roof <laughs> um, because you get the best view up here. We climbed up a ladder that's just here, not this one. We did put this one here that we found. It's a handmade one and it, and it feels very scary to climb up. Yeah, just 
very much enjoying sitting on the roof and it's getting a little bit cold which is a lovely feeling after this summer so yeah Put the juice in here, it's currently in here and it needs pressing into here. And you on board an electric pump so that once it's pressed into here it can go through this tube to its final resting place and hopefully we have enough to get it full. Um, only when it's been on my arm. Mm -hmm. it smells a bit funky. Mm -hmm. One bar, and we can just see how much goes out of it. Yeah. So it does it needs to be on one. You turn it on and aim this one. Yeah. And control this one. All you need to do is make sure that's at the bottom of the tank, okay. at the bottom of the bucket, yeah. and turn it off before it empties.
got is very nearly full so we might just try and fill it with what's left in the bucket. Shall I go? Yeah, it's literally probably going to be like 10 seconds. Okay, just shout stop when you want to stop. Okay. Does the stems add any like extra flavour? Like yeah. Wines. She spent three months wishing for rain. Yeah. <laughs> the one day it's really looking like it might. <laughs> no, please, no. It's cold off one hour. Then you can rain as much as you like. Yeah. Right. I was genuinely concerned we wouldn't be able to fill that. Okay. Yeah. What's that then? 
20 litres over. Yeah. I reckon whatever's left that doesn't go in this demi john, we put your t shirt in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna dye it. I think it'll look really cool. So, what if you drank this now? Would it be like there's not enough alcohol to make it clean? No, I mean, it wouldn't taste as good as it could. Yeah. But, I mean, it, there's alcohol in it. Yeah. So it would get you going. Probably like 4 5%. I think we're expecting 30 this year. Oh, wasn't terrible. It's so yeah, I'll do it quicker. Be fine. So much nice. It's the same amount of red wine as we had last year. Ooh, stop, stop, stop. Ooh, there you go. So, Rand, we have 100 litres in the fermentation tank. We have five 5 litre demijohns or carboys for you guys in the States, and a half. So, we're talking about 27 litres. So, 127 litres altogether. Not bad, we did 70 last year, so we've got quite a bit more. So, this year, we had a lot more red grapes than white grapes. The year before, we had a lot more white grapes. So we made just a white wine. This year, there was 80% less white grapes. So it didn't really make much sense 
to make a straight up white wine. So we decided to put it in with the red, which is quite commonly done actually. Um, that's the white wine from last year, it's very dusty. So made like an orange style wine. Um, that's the plum wine. And that is the Jerupica. Jerupica's probably ready now actually. You can see the wine fizzing away. So it's quite volatile still, as you can see. Um, it's blown all of the water out of some of the airlocks, which isn't too much of a problem now. It's basically saying that it needs some more oxygen, so we'll, we'll give it the oxygen for now. Now, we wait. We are just on our way to take the van for a service, and then we've got our bikes in the back, and we're going to cycle back as far well now. We're looking forward to going on a bit of a, a longer adventure on our bike. Again, this is just such a nice feeling and it smells so good we had a little bit of rain the other morning and then this is the second little drizzle that we're having and I was just in the middle of planting some seeds out and getting a bit wet so I thought actually now's a pretty good time maybe to put the cover on the greenhouse because then I could be planting seeds and keeping dry so that's what I'm gonna do I don't think this rain's gonna last very long but I'm excited to put it on, so... <laughs> Sorry guys, 
Uh, yeah, it's a bit wobbly in here. I need to tie on all the ties, but I think you guys are just gonna keep falling over. <laughs> it's quite warm in there already. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, we've had a lot going on and it's so nice and now the weather's cooling down to be able to get back on with those projects. It's been really frustrating not being able to, though it is quite hot today. We have rather a strange week ahead, I'm not sure what it's going to look like because we're forecast for a hurricane and a tropical rainstorm that's coming from Hurricane Danielle I think it's called, that's over the Azores currently. So yeah, Sunday night to Monday. <laughs> We might have a lot of rain, which would be amazing, but yeah, I don't know what it's going to look like. Tune in next week to see what on earth <laughs> the next week holds for us. Yeah, yeah, you never know what's going to happen, so yeah. Take care, hope you have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you soon.